Faith Fowler makes big dreams look easy. She's not a real estate mogul or a business tycoon. She's a United Methodist pastor. I got a call one day and this woman said, hi, I'm calling from Bon Jovi's office. She said, do you know who Bon Jovi is? And I said, I'm a minister, I'm not dead. And Bon Jovi sent $100,000. Through Fowler's vision and leadership over 25 years, Cass United Methodist has built stability and community among residents of Detroit. The latest enterprise is 25 tiny, affordable homes. We have a Tudor, a lighthouse, a modern house, a recycle house. They're all very attractive on purpose. And after seven years, seven's a good biblical number, right? Um, then they'll own it, it's theirs. The Cass community tiny town has a green gym, clinic, store, and jobs all within walking distance. Fowler sold her home to live here. So how's work going with Mark, okay? Is he oh, working you hard? No. Not the impact of these ministries is clear, but Fowler's gifts of leadership were not always apparent. So I was in junior high, I felt the call of God, and I went to see the associate pastor at our church and told him, and he told me I was wrong. Everybody always assumes, well, he told you you were wrong because you're a woman. I don't know that that's true. I was a very introverted kid. Maybe he thought I just didn't have what it took to be a preacher, teacher, leader. Fortunately, Fowler didn't give up on the United Methodist Church or her call. I believe everybody has gifts and graces that should be used. That great theologian, Mark Twain, <laughs> says there are two really important days in your life, the day you're born and the day you figure out why. That everybody's here for a reason. For 25 years, Fowler has been helping this congregation find innovative ways to keep doing ministry in good economic times and bad. For example, in 2008, Cass turned their 125-year-old church into a haunted house to raise money for homeless ministries. If it wasn't for this church, probably still on drugs. Fowler says Cass Community United Methodist started doing outreach a hundred years ago during the Great Depression, and Cass has what it takes to serve Detroit for another hundred years. I figure by the time I retire that at least 35 people will own their homes, and that feels pretty good.